Hi, I'm Tyler Fultz. First off, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I've just hit over 100 subscribers and it feels incredible. I really appreciate all of you guys that like my content and also for all the suggestions you have offered in my videos. It really held a very special place in my heart. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today I'm going to be looking at a bunch of fun memes. <laughs> Let's get started. People who support nuclear power and people who understand what the positive void coefficient means. Wow, that's a challenging and very technical one. So, reactivity coefficients, let's break this down. First off, reactivity is basically the direction the uh, nuclear reactor is going. Positive reactivity, reactor power going up. Negative reactivity, reactor power going down. And a positive coefficient means um, a rate, an increase in a certain parameter causes reactor power to go the same direction, uh, to go up. Um, and a negative coefficient, say we had a negative um, moderator temperature coefficient, that would mean as moderator temperature goes up, reactor power goes down. Now on to the void coefficient, um, less commonly used in the reactor um, that I worked at. Um, it was a pressurized uh, water reactor. That's not, doesn't show up as often, but we do occasionally talk about it. It's more commonly used in uh, boiling water reactors, but in boiling water reactors, the void coefficient is negative. You increase the number of steam voids in the uh, reactor vessel, um, then, the power actually goes down. The positive um, void coefficient showed up in RBMK type reactors. That's the same des reactor design um, of the uh, Chernobyl reactor. There's nothing inherently wrong about a positive um, void coefficient by itself. That does mean you increase voids, that reactor power goes up. And that has to do with how the reactor is designed. Um, a lot of it has to do with um, graphite being the moderator in those type of uh, reactor designs. But Chernobyl, they had all kinds of other design issues and operational issues, such as the operations crew willingly defeating um, their own safety systems. And um, just the Soviet operational culture was just, ugh. No containment building added to the problem, but um, there you go. That's the uh, positive void coefficient in a nutshell. Um, you guys are now in this little red circle. <laughs> what is simply pure H2O for you. <laughs> Please under no circumstances drink uranium dioxide peroxide. I don't even know what that would be. Um, I don't even know if you could synthesize a compound like this, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend drinking it. <laughs> uh, wind turbines catching fire uh, New here starting early in Germany. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something that has happened. Um, wind turbines catching fire. Sci Science by Santa. Bad kids get coal, good kids get uranium, which generates 3 million times more energy and 10 million times less waste for their Christmas lights. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, that's, a, that's a great, great meme. Um, I also like the picture of him showing the old school model of the atomic structure rather than a green rock. Um, points for creativity. No, uranium doesn't look like that either, but... <laughs> it looks more of a... Uh, it's the uh, yellow yellow cake style design or um, some uh, black pellets with uranium oxide that's actually in the nuclear fuel, but I get what they're trying to say. It's a, it's a pretty good one. 
Millions of Americans wake up this morning owing their lives to nuclear power or fossil fuels. Okay, some of these memes are inherently nuclear and being against solar and wind, it looks like. Uh, personally, I don't have a problem with solar and wind. They um, serve a, uh, they do serve a purpose. Um, they, uh, can gen they do generate electricity um, and they do it relative, um, carbon emission free, but there are increased uh, costs associated with that. Um, environmental costs as well as the uh, physical um, costs. Um, uh, wind turbines use a lot of material. Solar panels use a lot of material and rare earth elements such as cadmium. So they're not exactly as green as you would believe, but um, I do think they serve a better purpose than, uh, than fossil fuels. Of course, I'm biased towards nuclear, but nobody's perfect. <laughs> What's this Star Trek meme for a little less criticality on my bridge? <laughs> criticality experiment for a uh, face. <laughs> uh, guttering pigeons. Okay, another another anti-solar meme. It looks like <laughs> Europe's renewables. Wondering what is going to power the grid. <laughs> Bunch of confused owl looks. Yeah, you can't rely on renewables by themselves. That's one of the uh, disadvantages of them. Grids are getting smarter, so they can do a little more than they could say 10 years ago, but nuclear will do solid base load power. Fossil fuels, advanced reactors. Okay, here's one against fossil fuels. Yes, advanced reactors. <laughs> I think they're pointing out small modular reactors, um, just because they're more, they're more scalable and flexible. It doesn't mention advanced. I would argue that any reactor is advanced relative to um, 200 years old uh, fossil fuels, but you know, there's open to debate on a few, on a few things like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love old school Starship Troopers. I know these software is on my mind. Uh, those are containment domes uh, for a two unit nuclear site. I'm actually not as familiar with this name, but apparently in favor of those. Babe, come on, we'll be back inside. <laughs> anti nuclear morons. Lud Ludite anti nuclear morons. Uh, that's good. U-235. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Uh, neutrons causing the fission reaction in a plant. Yeah. <laughs> Chain reaction. Finger hitting the uh, tiger in the bollocks. Yep. That's about right. <laughs> this is why I so let me zoom in a bit. This is why solar doesn't work in Canada. <laughs> Got to keep those panels clean in order for them to work effectively. Wind turbines are also susceptible to icing. That's one of the things that happened in the big Texas power grid failure that happened uh, in uh, 2021. <laughs> wow. Wind and solar taking care of natural gas. Uh, that's probably a reference to um, companies such as Next Era that um, have a lot of natural gas plants as their backbone and wind and solar as green window dressing, <laughs> literally dressing her, her feet. So <laughs> that's a pretty good one. <laughs> nuclear engineers favor nuclear power for the same doctors disfavor of smoking knowledge yeah absolutely um, nuclear power is a vital form of our uh, energy portfolio both in terms of independence in terms of diversity diverse power supplies and it's just a uh, low-cost effective uh, reliable way to uh, to make electricity <laughs> These were some pretty fun memes, though. I've enjoyed uh, 
looking at those. Let me. This is my first video like this. Let me know what you think of this uh, down below in the comments. Uh, <laughs> Want to do something uh, something a little different. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.